Hey everyone, this is Carl with a quick tutorial on perhaps the simplest way to take underwater still pictures, even under 50 feet of green water. All you need is a GoPro Hero 4, a filter, and one button push. And then again. Now, you won't get beautiful magazine cover photos. That requires lights, batteries, a fancier camera, and I'm guessing lots of practice. But you can get nice snapshots of what you see underwater. Here's some examples from Alki Beach here in Seattle. The method does require some computer work once you're topside. Happily, however, all the software required is free. So this video will show you the steps, and there's also a web page listed below if you'd prefer to read the steps. Here's the camera settings you'll want. You only need to do this one time. First, turn the camera on. Then use the touch screen and unlock the uh, settings. Now use the touch screen to go to the general uh, settings menu. The only setting that's uh, relevant here is quick capture. This is a new feature of the Hero 4 that lets the camera go from off to shooting video to off again with just a single button, button push. We also need to change some video settings. That's the button on the side. Um, the main one is the resolution. The, highest, the higher the resolution you can do, the better. I'm doing uh, 2.7K. You can also change the frame rate. Lower frame rates like 24 let in more light, but they also require you to be more steady. In my case, I like 30 frames per second. You want to set the camera to ProTune, and you want to set the color to flat, and finally you want to set the sharpness to low. That's all you need to do, and then you can uh, just turn the camera off. Step two is accessories and setting up the camera before you dive. A good accessory is a floating handle and a buckle to attach that handle to your suit. You would, might also want anti-fog inserts, GoPro makes some. And a magenta filter if you're in green water. Mine's from Polar Pro. There's also different colors for tropical water. So before you dive, put your camera in the case it uh, came with. Add the uh, anti-fog insert, close up the case, the uh, filter goes on the front, you just uh, push it in onto the case, and that's the setup and you're ready to dive. Take still pictures when diving. Just aim the camera in the general direction of what you want to take a picture of. Press the button. In a few seconds it will start shooting video, which is the same as taking 30 still pictures every second. Try to hold the camera steady. After a few seconds just press the button again and the camera will turn off. Okay, you're back topside and it's time to prepare your computer. First, install a program that you can find on the GoPro website called GoPro Studio and start that program up. And also plug your GoPro into your computer and copy the video files that you uh, just took underwater onto your computer into some folder. In GoPro Studio, click Import New Files, navigate to the folder where you put your GoPro files and click on the file. The preview of the file will appear and you can uh, 
look around in the file and make sure it's the right one. Where is that sea cucumber? Oh, not there. Too much motion blur. Ah, okay. This is the right file for me. So I say add clip to conversion list. And then click the convert all button. Now there's going to be a little bit of a wait. I've shortened it for the video. What it's doing is it's converting the MP4 format into an AVI file that uh, we'll have a little bit better control of frames and color of. When it's finished, we can click the proceed to step two button. And at the top, you can see it now says step two edit. First thing it's gonna do in this mode is pop up a template uh, page and we don't want that page, so we'll just hit cancel. You'll notice there's a timeline in the middle bottom. So we drag our video clip to there and now when we scrub through, we're looking for a frame of interest. There's the rope and the log. There's the sea cucumber. Um, I'd like to choose frames where the object is bigger. Uh, and I'm also worried a bit about uh, motion blur. So I'm using this button and the one to the uh, two to the left to try to find a frame where I wasn't moving the camera too much. One help for that is there's a button with uh, two arrows. I'll click that and the image will go to full screen and I get a better idea of how uh, blurry each frame is. Now I can uh, use the arrow keys on my keyboard to try to find a frame that's not too blurry. And that one looks pretty good. So hit the escape button to go back into regular mode. And you'll notice the image is still a bit green or bluish. So we'll say white balance pick, and then we'll click on something in the image that should be white. And that does a good job of fixing the color the way we want it. Now it's time to export. This is a JPEG. So we say file, export, still image, actual size, export, Navigate to the folder where you want the JPEG to appear and type the name of the file, CQC, and save. And that's all there is to it. You can repeat uh, this to get uh, more frames written out from the same video file, or you can process other video files. When you're done, just click File Exit and you don't need to save the project. So those are the steps for what I think is the simplest way to take still pictures underwater. Just one button push on, one button push off, and some post-processing once you get topside. Have fun diving and be safe.